British Columbia has been covering a dirty secret for millions of years. Until now. In the year 2000, two children are floating down the river, and without warning, a swell tossed a child from his tube and into the murky depths below. And what happened next changed the history of the province. This boy is Mark Turner, and he stumbled upon one of BC's first dinosaur bones. And if absolutely anybody, anywhere, can go out and make a discovery, that's why it's a discovery, they don't know it's there yet. <laughs> There was a recent discovery of some of the world's oldest bird tracks within the Tumblr Ridge UNESCO Global Geopark, and the paleontologists who found the tracks invited me to join their expedition to recover them. Within the last week, we discovered um, this beautiful bird track by Dr. Buckley is an expert in this, and she used her skills to identify this thing. Dr. Lisa Buckley and Dr. Richard McRae say British Columbia is crawling with undiscovered fossils. There's still so much um, representative fossils that we don't have from this region and things that we never even guessed. So there's a big desire for us to, you know, you have to be a little bit, it's a little bit of insanity. <laughs> it's like the insanity of a collector. So we were off to scour the mountainside to retrieve the fossil that the team had discovered. The discovery began on August 1st, 2017, when Dr. Charles Helm led Dr. Buckley and Dr. McRae to a dinosaur track site he had discovered earlier in the summer. Dr. Buckley used her trained eye to examine the surrounding rock surfaces, and with the patience of a saint, she uncovered a hundred million year old avian trackway from the Cretaceous period. In order to transport the fossil, Dr. Buckley had to create handles, but this move was far too heavy for merely three mortals. So Charles called for a man that possessed the strength of the son of Zeus, Hercules. After the mighty young man gracefully placed the fossil in the wheelbarrow, the team wheeled it down towards the vehicle. But once again, they called upon their Adonis to save the day. The fossil was now in level ground and Dr. Richard McRae had an idea. The tracks were now inches away, so the team huddled up and curated a plan to lift and lay the fossil safely in the back of the truck. And just like that, the over 350 pound fossil was laid to rest and prepared for delivery to the Peace Region Paleontology Research Center for further analysis. The dig was incredibly successful, but I got a little bit dirty and I've been searching for Rich all over the place. I can't find him anywhere in the gallery. I can't find him anywhere. He has my uniform. He told me that I'm an honorary paleontologist and uh, I have no uni- Hey, Rich, Rich. Rich, 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 do you have my uniform? You do? Okay, cool. I'll be back. <laughs> Much better. But in all seriousness, though, the people here at the Peace Region Paleontology Research Center, they're doing fantastic work. They're heading up into the mountains here in the northeast portion of British Columbia, and they're extracting fossils. They're bringing them back here to the facility in Tumblr Ridge. And just look around you right now. Like, look at this behind me right now. This was roaming in this area of the Peace Region about 100 million years ago, which just blows my mind. But this would have never happened if it wasn't for Mark Turner and his friends stumbling across those fossils on the riverbed 20 years ago. Wow, Mark Turner, he's an absolute pioneer in this region. I'm Craig Krause for CJDC TV News in Tumblr Ridge.